Good afternoon and thanks for clicking on to today's edition of Vogan's Views in Europe for Thursday the 24th of May and boy is it not a warm day out there if you're out and about you'll certainly be feeling it even indoors here I'm sweating away here in my attic now that is not a very pleasant thought for you but uh, it certainly is warm up here even with the blind shut the heat is really penetrating through that, that glass and the roof as well but certainly you'll be noticing those temperatures warm. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to tell you that we are seeing unusually warm conditions here for the end of May and any time really for, uh, through June, July and August, these temperatures are equal to any warm day during the middle part of the summer. We've seen a temperature of 27.1 Celsius at Glasgow Bishopton. That actually sets a new May record, would you believe? While uh, down in Surrey, we're seeing Wisley at 27.3. So that just noses above for the highest temperature in the UK. But the preliminary reports, they are. So we could actually be seeing a temperature slightly above above those readings. And even the Glasgow Bishopton site, uh, that 27.1 might even be uh, uh, nudged up a notch, uh, you know, when, uh, when all is, is said and done. But certainly we're talking about very warm conditions. We're seeing widespread 27 uh, or 25 to 27 Celsius today. And uh, are we going to be seeing a change in the near future to this warm, sunny spell? Well, certainly high pressure and control across the northwest of the UK. That is allowing the temperatures across Scotland to equal those down across the south of England. Where you're underneath that core of high pressure, that's the maximum uh, depth of sinking and of course when, when you've got a warm air mass like this temperatures aren't cooling much at night at all and unfortunately folks it's going to be an uncomfortable night for sleeping temperatures may struggle to get below 16 across parts of Scotland while it may struggle to get below 18 or 19 across the south of England tomorrow well it's going to be a repeat of uh, today as high pressure remains firmly established now if anything we are going to start to see more of an easterly flow across the south of the UK as the high pressure builds overhead we're going to be seeing that east flow coming in off the north sea is it going to dramatically cool temperatures no it isn't temperatures today of course across london around the 28 mark in places while we are going to be seeing temperatures still of 26 or 27 i think tomorrow but across western and central scotland i do still hold the idea that we could be seeing a peaking of these temperatures could we see a, a 28? That's a, a very possible, I think, across uh, parts of the western uh, areas of the central belt, up into the West Highlands as well. And uh, it's certainly not going to be a cooler day, that's for sure. By Friday and into Saturday, the high pressure remains firmly established still. Nothing changes. The only thing that will change is we're going to knock one or two degrees off uh, today and tomorrow's values across southern and potentially central England. It's going to be equally as warm across Scotland and even into the far north of England. But as this feature here, an area of troughiness over the North Atlantic, that is going to break up this uh, large area of upper level low pressure Break it into two pieces. This piece here is what I'm going to be watching for as it pushes slightly closer and closer to Ireland and the southwest of the UK. That might introduce more in the way of cloud cover, may even produce some showers. And yes, temperatures may start to drop back into the high teens again as opposed to the low and mid 20s. Now, is this going to be a sign of the big breakdown, the big change back to unsettled cold weather? Well, it certainly doesn't look that way. We are talking about a very warm week ahead, a weekend ahead. Still plenty of sunny skies. Still plenty of warmth. Still plenty of mid twenties. So it isn't isn't going to be your classic breakdown. Several days of warm weather and then a change back to normality. It does look as if we are going to hold on to this high pressure system. Sunday and into Monday, you can see that still high pressure and control but look at Ireland and the western part of the UK down across Wales and the southwest is starting to show signs of a cool down we are going to see perhaps a front working its way through Ireland and even into the western fringes of the UK that may introduce some rain some cloud and yes with that would come some cooler temperatures as well. But it's, what's interesting me is the fact that we still see nice strong heights over Scotland, the eastern flank of the UK. That would indicate temperatures still in the low 20s by the time we get to Monday. 
right? Tuesday, what's taking place here? Look at that. We're starting to see the height start to lower. Going as the oranges, we return to the yellows. Is it going to be a cold spell? No, it isn't. It's going to remain reasonably mild. Tuesday and into Wednesday, this is the interesting part. Gone is the two the twin areas of low pressure. It becomes one large area of low pressure yet again, but it's further south. As this area and and and, and large area of low pressure in the trove starts to dig further and further south, it's worth paying attention to the orange and the development of an area of high pressure off the, the Iberian Peninsula. Where is that going to? Well, the European suggests that the high pressure wants to rebuild back into the UK again. Notice how this feature becomes stronger. It pushes the trough deeper into the North and Central Atlantic. And as it does so, the warmth that's building over and south of this trough is actually going to start to ride around the base of the trough and up into the UK again. This is by Thursday. By Friday, look at what happens. Wow, we've got another very strong area of high pressure. The orange is returning. Could we be looking at temperatures equaling what we're seeing just now and what we're going to see tomorrow? That's very possible. We're going to, we could potentially see high 20s back in the UK by the time we reach Friday of next week. So yes, we're going to see a trim back in temperatures. We could even see some cloud and rain working in from the southwest, in through Ireland, in through the southwest of England, up into Wales as well. Temperatures will remain reasonably warm across parts of Scotland, even in the Tuesday. Brief uh, return to more normal conditions across Scotland and the rest of the UK by Wednesday and into Thursday. But this is here the sign of things to come by Friday. A return of this very strong area of high pressure. Very interesting indeed. Let's see by Saturday. Notice how the ridge starts to push slightly further to the east, but it's central and southern England that I would be cautious about saying uh, I would be cautious in ruling out the idea of a, a potential 30 Celsius high by next Saturday but this of course can change it's a good 7 to 10 days away a lot can change like I say but it is possible that we could see once again a rebound of this very strong area of high pressure and those very warm conditions by the time we reach Friday and into next weekend. Hope you're enjoying this warm weather, folks. Hope you're putting on plenty of sunscreen. It's warm out there. Protect your skin. Drink plenty of water as well because you can become very dehydrated very quickly in these kind of warm temperatures. Have a great evening, folks. Bye-bye.